What's going on, everybody? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to everybody to another Biggity Baggity video. And as you can see, the size down below, I'll be talking about how you could start studying in America legally. Before I start with the meat of the matter, I just want to apologize, guys. I've been gone for so long. And like last week, I posted a poll on my Instagram and y'all expressed how tired you guys were with my inconsistency but I promise you I'm trying my very best my very 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 best to post as frequent as I can promise many people have been texting me asking me how did I obtain a student visa how did I do this how did I do that and I've been helping you guys and I hope my J Bears have been doing what I'm telling them to do and I hope you guys are getting the opportunities that I know that you guys have. Woo! But for the person that I haven't responded to because there's so much of you guys and for the persons who haven't asked but want to ask, this is for you. If you want to know more, continue watching. If not, share this with someone that you think would want to know leave a like leave a comment down below leave a subscribe it will be appreciated remember to follow me on my social media platform my instagram is gina underscore m the link will be in the description down below also my boyfriend and i we recently started our youtube channel so give us some love our link will be in the description down below our name on instagram is jane and mel so no further ado cue the intro she's back and she's looking hotter than ever are you off this are you off this you become a international student so the first thing that I would recommend is research the school that you want to go so if you want to study law if you want to be a doctor if you want to be a teacher if you want to be a politician if you want to be anything that you want to be research like which school would aid you to become what you want to become so throughout this um throughout this video I'll be talking about John Jay because that's the school that I am going and I'll be talking about CUNY schools in general because those are the only schools that I apply to. I want to become... Oh, what's in my throat? Oh, don't mind my nails guys, I've been trying to get them all. Anyway, I want to become a criminal lawyer so I started to research the school that would aid me more and when I say aid, I mean cost, transportation, the subjects, the societies there, like those are the things that you're supposed to search and look into and see if this is what you want to do, if this is the environment that you want to be around. I looked and I liked many schools. At the time, I was not looking at like the cost and transportation, I was just looking at things that like schools that did the subjects that I wanted to do I started looking in more details like the cheaper one because you know we are trying to save money while become while becoming educated so throughout all that search John Jay so first thing you guys should do is search for a school search all of that and pick one so if you are planning on like applying to a CUNY school or a, C or a CUNY school or whatever that name is you realize that in the applications you're you obviously you have to pay for your application so for CUNY schools I, I don't remember how much I paid I think it's $25 but with that application you can apply to five CUNY schools so find the application form you know you type in for CUNY, you can type in CUNY applications and it will come up. If it's a specific school, say for instance, you want to go to University of Florida, you type in University of Florida application for international students. Always remember that you are 
trying to apply for an international student and it is another process it is, process it is way different than a regular process that a citizen or a resident will go through so that's two so again the first one find a school that fits you second research the application form when you get the application form fill it out i got it and i filled it out and i submitted it so that's two three when you get accepted to said college you are gonna be required to fill out some documents and this is where it gets kind of nitty it gets difficult it gets sometimes it, it was somewhat demotivating for me at once and i realized how much money it is but when you realize the goal and the dreams that you have like you're trying to you, you try to find ways to get to get shit done so when you get the application form you re not the application my bad when you get the acceptance letter you're gonna be in contact with your dso that is your international student advisor so this person will provide you with um an i20 that you are supposed to fill out so this document you are gonna have to provide information and you know it's easy down to the point of them just asking for your name your address etc etc but along with this you're gonna have to show them that you have the money to aid yourself in america or canada or Europe or wherever you want to go as I said earlier I'm going to be going to talk about like CUNY schools so you're gonna have to show your tuition books and appliances transportation housing etc etc everything I had to show that I had 40 I think it was 46,000 US dollars yep because the tuition each year is like $18,000 so they're gonna ask you for sponsors right so these are persons who are going to say that, okay, they are paying said amount. The trick to it is that the person who is signing that they suppose someone said they're going to pay $40,000 each year for you. They're going to have to prove that they are $40,000 US dollars within their account. So anyone that is signing for you saying that, oh, they're going to provide this, they have to show it. So say for instance you're gonna live with your aunt and within the document it says that housing is twenty thousand dollars as long as your aunt can show that oh she has a lease you can include that and that deducts the twenty thousand dollars so your housing for that is done say for instance you have a uncle that is gonna give you thirty fifteen thousand us dollars or they don't have to literally be giving it to you because i know some persons they're gonna their parents is the one who's gonna you know pay for it but at the moment they don't have it just try to find other people who can sign for you and just let them know that oh this is just saying that you're gonna do it but you're not gonna actually do it because what they want is just to know that you have support when you are here and that you are not gonna like you know come here and be waste so as i said every person signing that they're gonna give you a set amount they have to prove that they have set amount in their bank account so you're gonna have to include their bank statement their proof of income and all of that and i know it sounds hard but they do not limit the amount of sponsors that you can have so you can have even 10 sponsors saying that oh they're gonna give you ten thousand us dollars or you're gonna live with them or this or that or that okay so when you get sponsors that's the third thing you're gonna first you're gonna research the school that you want to go to second you're gonna fill the application form then third when you get accepted you're gonna find sponsors after you find the sponsors after you do all those three you find the sponsors you're gonna submit that back to your um dso when you do that your dso is gonna ensure that all the documents are correct and then she's gonna then send you in the mail or maybe electronically for me i got it through the mail she's gonna give you your official i20 and that is what you're gonna and your acceptance letter and that is what you're gonna use to apply for your student visa now 
there are two fees when you're applying for your student visa i don't remember what's the name for both of them but i remember one is your okay so one is your civics id fee oh wait wait wait, wait. when you get accepted to colleges they're gonna want you to pay a commitment fee for me i had to pay a commitment fee of 100 us dollars and your commitment fee is just telling that telling them that okay you are gonna come to the college because you know a lot of persons want to go to colleges and they don't want to accept someone and then later on they don't come where they could have given someone else the, the position so you're gonna have to pay a commitment fee so back now so you're gonna pay a, a fee your service id fee and the visa itself fee the visa itself the fee is $25,000 if I'm not mistaken and the service ID fee is $53,000 my friend um this year because this is gonna be my second year in college he's gonna start this year so he just recently got accepted his service ID fee was $55,000 and the reason for this fluctuation is because of the dollar dropping and going up because you know one US dollar sometimes is 154 Jamaican dollars or 155 and if it's in the UK or wherever you are it fluctuates because of the dollar so it just depends on how much one US dollar is in your country so for me seeing that I am a Jamaican citizen for me, the service ID fee was 53000 at that time. No, it is like 55000 56000 And the ID itself, it was like 23000 24, there about. So you're going to have to pay two fees. This now, you're, this is applying for the, the visa itself. So this, does not, this money does not go to school. It just goes to the U.S. Embassy. After doing this, you're gonna choose a date that fits you. And my bad, you can if you begin school August one, you cannot come in the country until July first onward. It's a month in advance or onward, so not two months before school or three months before school. So you're gonna pick a date that sits well with you and your school schedule, and you just go. They're going to ask you some questions. I know many people who are international students now and the questions vary. Sometimes they ask a lot, sometimes they don't. Because for me, they just asked, I don't even remember. They asked, who am I going to stay with? And I think, I don't even remember. But I know someone, they just asked her why she chose the school. She told them and they were like, okay, you can pick up your visa. Blah, blah, blah another guy that i know they ask him why not go to ue and he explained why and they're like okay so sometimes they'll ask you who is gonna fund your tuition oh by the way when you're going for your visa you have to carry all your documentation so you have to carry your i-20 your passport your um your your sponsors information such as the bank statement if they have a lease you have to carry the lease and all of that but the most important thing is your i-20 and your passport and your receipt that you paid the service id and you paid the visa money and you will get the receipts in your email so after doing all that you know you go they ask you a question and you just be truthful why did you choose john jay I chose John Jay because John Jay is the number one school for criminal justice and I want to be exposed to better resources so that I can come back to Jamaica and make the justice system better, you know? So you tell them, why do you want to go to USA? Why do you want to leave your country to be in someone else's country? And you explain. And trust me, they give out a lot of student visas. So if you don't get it, come on. It's, it, it's a sign. <laughs> but yeah. So after you apply, you get your visa. Then no, it's just you to buy your plane tickets and come to US. So when you're here, you definitely have to be in contact with your, your DSO very often. Um, there are lots of limitations on international students. You're not supposed to be working without your school's permission. Um, you're, you, you're not given a social security number. Like, as you, you know, citizens here, they get their social 
we just don't get it you have to apply for it at the same time etc 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 so another thing to note international students tuition is more than a citizen's tuition so currently i'm paying like eight thousand dollars for my tuition and a citizen is paying like three thousand dollars as it ranges for scholarships it is harder to get scholarships but they do have scholarships for international students so it is just for you to be educated on what you want to do and the way you're gonna do it and yeah you'll be good so to list over the things one you get your research your research your research your research two you get your admission letter you apply three after you get accepted you are gonna you're gonna search for your sponsors and then send off your i20 to your dso your dso will then email you the original documents after that four you're gonna apply for your visa and this is when you pay the two fees five you go to the embassy and you get your visa six you take a plane and you come here this is the process and i hope i didn't miss out anything when i came here i i had to meet with my dear so she signed some documents for me and you can travel back home anytime you want just try to go to your dear and ensure that she or he knows that okay i'm gonna be in jamaica for spring i'm gonna be in canada for spring or i'm gonna be in canada f um i'm gonna be in uk for the winter whatever just let she know so that all your docu documents are up to date so that when you're coming back into the u.s it is no problem so i really hope that this video was helpful somewhat uh, i really tried i know that you know a lot of persons want to come to usa to study they want to come to new york they want to be in the city and i would really advise it you know there are so many opportunities here there's so many things to do here you know not just in the fun way but things to learn ways to explore ways to expand your mind and your intellect so i really recommend i really really would recommend if you can to put the effort into it so if you like this video remember to like leave a comment share this with someone your friend your daughter your cousin who is interested someone who doesn't want to go to sixth form in jamaica or do not want to do the 13th grade in in, in uk but they want to come to america to study and it's not just america this way if you're in jamaica because a lot of my viewers are from jamaica this is for canada this is for anywhere that you want to go this is these are the process that you'd have to do to obtain a student visa so thank you for watching if you haven't watched my previous videos remember to go and do so and yeah the link for my socials will be in the description down below so if you want to stop by my instagram platform and ask a question you're free to do so so bye enjoy the rest of your day